up in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got four blasters of 2022 Tops Update Series. Let's dig the cleats in. Let's hit a moonshot. Four blasters coming up. Let's do it. The flagship product of the year right here. 2022 and then 2023 is starting off hot with some jumbo action. Jumbos are hangers on steroids in my opinion. There's a J-Rod right off the bat. I got to get my J-Rod count going again. I've lost track. We're uh, 125 plus on those bad boys. And we got a Jeremy Pena relic to start us off. Little batting helmet relic. So rookie with a J-Rod first pack. Not bad. Look for that big SSP. Theory of Dunas. SSP. I have not sorted any of these for a long time. Javier Baez. I am not going to look forward to that day. Sorting can be fun for a while, but when you do marathon sort, sorts, holy cow, it can get brutal. Brutality. We got a retail blue. It is a Ross Stripling for the Blue Jays. Torkelson. Let's leave that torque. I got a little Torkelson insert pile going, along with the other big boys. I have J-Rod in that box, Bobby, Pena, Torkelson, Suzuki, and Wander. Suzuki, because he's in my Cubs PC, I've been pulling those as we go. I wouldn't call him one of the big rookies. Stars of the MLB, baby. Got a whole four-row box full of Stars of the MLB that I don't know what to do with. Bolt guy's going to get them. Okay, we got a Chrome Stars of the MLB. MJ Melendez. Who's it going to be? And it's Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Cunha Jr. Duran, Stars of the MLB. Looking for those hits. Bobby on the back. Looking for those hits. Short prints. Super short prints. Golds. That's what flagship's about. Now it's supers. Oh, we got a vintage stock. Dang. Here it is. Vintage stock. Out of 99. Hoping to pull those in rookies. Let me top load that bad boy. But it's out of 99. Cool hit. Vintage stock set would be tough to put together. 99. And then our last pack of the first box, we'll move on to the next box. Got a rainbow foil in this one, I think. I'd be surprised if this was an HFA. It's a rainbow foil, and it's Jake McGee. Contreras. All right, let's move this base a little bit. All right, box number two. So, Pena, Relic, Base J-Rod, Vintage Stock, Cool pulling the vintage stock, but we're obviously looking for the big names in those. Bobby on the back, stars the MLB with our big fat relic. Those relics are huge. I haven't shipped any of those. How much do those cost to ship? And Joey Votto. The big red machine. 
There's our Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Hopefully get one hit per box here. And looking for a short print. Not in that box. We're looking to hit that Julio SSP. I'm running out of chances to hit that bad boy. We've been on the hunt for it. We hit two SSPs, but not the Julio. Anderson McCutcheon. That's why they're worth so much, man. They are tough, tough, tough pulls. You could open all year and not pull them. J Rod, J Rod base. And Freddie Freeman. Javier Baez. Stott. So I'm waiting for my boxes of uh, jumbos from Fanatics before I open any. Looks like we have a retail blue. And it's Brendan Donovan, retail blue. Cardinals. See how he does? I've had a few people in the chat say this guy's pretty good. We haven't, so that is that going to be the parallel? Hopefully not. When I see the foil like this, I was like, ooh, that is an HFA. HFA coming up. Home field advantage. Um, Ryan Mountcastle, home field advantage. Cool card. Out of a blaster. Every time I see a foil, it's like, ooh, could be a uh, home field advantage. There you have it, Mountcastle. So one box had a vintage stock and now a home field advantage. Now, I already pulled that one. I have a couple of those, actually. Hoping to hit some darts with the rookies right there, but... Pull the home field advantage. Crazy, dudes. And then we have a uh, Stars of the Chrome. Reed Detmer's rookie. Ethan Roberts on the top. Box number two. Pretty interesting opening so far, man. I mean, you figure a vintage stock for 25 bucks, home field advantage for 25 bucks. That's why retail is pretty good because when you hit those compared to hobby, when hobby boxes go from 80 to 150, then you're paying 150 for those hits because you're not, I don't know, you guess you could get a hobby box that has a vintage stock and a home field advantage, but I highly doubt it. That's like a unicorn. That's why, here's the Big Red Machine. We back-to-back -back Jack the Big Red Machine. Joey Votto. It's not a parallel. Torkelson stars the MLB. Damn it, Bobby. Stars the MLB. That's why um, retail is so sought after when it's good, because you get to pull hits for value. If you can't afford 150 bucks, you can go... Spend $25 on a blaster and then maybe get lucky on a blaster like one of those first two. Vintage stock or home field advantage. Obviously, you're more happy with the home field advantage. But at least you feel like you got something for your money when you pull a J-Rod and a vintage stock of somebody for 25 bucks. 
But now you go in there and buy one, you ain't pulling no numbered card. You're going to pull a rainbow foil. Thought we were going to hit another one. And it is a Bryson Stott rainbow foil. Not bad there. The base version. So opening's heating up pretty quickly. Donovan Blue, Stott rainbow foil, Mount Castle, home field advantage. Uh, Ref Snyder and the, uh, in the whatchamacallit, vintage stock, a Pena relic, a bunch of Bobbies, Penas. Solid opening. Flagship at its finest, Suzuki, right after Nick Castellanos. Now what we could do is top it off the king of flagship with a short print in that final box to really show what flagship's about. Numbered. The home field advantage. And then short prints. That's what flagship is all about. And I don't know if it's about that anymore. Although the parallels and jumbos are a lot easier to pull. The short prints are no longer short prints. They're super short prints. So they're like one to two per case. So your odds went way down there. So the short prints are gone. Are you kidding me? Another home field advantage. Holy crap. Woohoo! Is that re for real? Oh, it's a rookie too. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. King of flagship, here it comes. You get knocked off the horse. Ooh, Alec Thomas, let's go. We have not pulled that one. Oh, beautiful, baby, beautiful. Unbelievable, back-to-back -back jacks. <laughs> Look at that. Sick. I love the danger. Check that out. I'm just saying I don't like snakes in the live last night. Oh, man. Well, that's a crazy opening, bros. And we still have one box to go. Holy cow. Captain and Shano. Incredible. Well, that's what flagship's all about right there. Blasters are bangers. That doesn't work as good. Masters of Blasters. The Masters of the Universe. I used to love He-Man as a kid. All right, here we go. Last box. How about a rookie short print to, figure, to call a shot here? Rookie short print to go with our two HFAs and a vintage stock. Oh, my God. This is crazy. I'm still blown away. That, like, I thought that was a rainbow foil for sure. All right, let's get our relic out of the way. A big batting helmet relic. I, I'm not going to miss these. I, they're not my favorite. Um, what do you guys think of the, uh, what do they call them, the hometown or the city relics? I'm personally not a fan, but I don't like hate them. J-Rod, another one, add it. JT, really Muto. Get down with OPP, stars of the MLB. Short print coming up in this box. Let's see, that would be wild. Guys, I'm going to miss 2022 update. Looks like we have a gold. I'm going to miss this product so much. It's so good. Upside down. Who is it? And Dustin May gold. Not shabby. A little Dustin May. 
I doubt if we'll get a short print. Not, I don't think too many boxes have double, double hits. Usually, if you have a gold, you don't get a short print. But I'm sure there's still a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Lodolo. Suzuki Stars MLB. Either way, I think we're ahead of the ball game. Two home field advantages in four boxes. That's crazy. What do we got here? Somebody commenting on one of my other videos. Popping up. I really wish I had a camera and not a phone to video record. I don't like what Apple did with the... Uh, the mute button. Nasty Nester. We got here three packs to go. Nope, two packs to go. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. We're on the road to 6,000 subs. If you're new here, man, be doing some Series 1 soon. Jumbos are on the way. Got a blue, retail blue, Garcia. Stop. That's another reason you like the retail blues. And it is last pack mojo. We're going to get a hit. Going to get a short print. Doesn't look like it. No hit last pack mojo, but I tell you what. Pretty fun opening right there. As usual, our nickel and dime. Bread and butter flagship inserts. We had the gold Dustin May in one of the boxes. Had four relics. Pena being the best. JT Real, Real Amuto. And then a couple Vados. Here's our kind of base pile that I like to make. J-Rod, Suzuki, Suzuki, damn it, Bobby. J-Rod, damn it, Bobby, damn it, Bobby. Torque and Julio. Pick up a couple Julios. Couple uh, rookie colors, a retail blue Donovan, re uh, rainbow foil stock. And then the big boys of the bunch. Three really good parallels. This is what flagship's all about. Rob Ref Snyder, vintage stock out of 99. And then two home field advantage, back to back jacks. Alec Thomas, I'm excited for that one. I haven't pulled that one. And we got Ryan Mountcastle. That was a really fun opening, if you ask me. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Until next time.